Folks, don't try this at home. Well, cowboy, looks like you're in pretty good shape here. We're gonna go ahead and take off. No, now wait just a minute. I've got another thing I want you to look at before you leave. No, Come okay. on down, follow me now. We got another thing we need to look at down there before you leave. I tell you what. It just never stops, Gene. You know down there where I've got the place I burned? I've got yeah. Bertha down there, son. She's a plucking the chickens. Well, I wasn't supposed to get her but two chickens. That blonde headed woman brought me 20. 20? Tw yeah, Bertha's real mad at me. Boy, what chickens? in the world do you mean by bringing all these chickens for me to well, <laughs> do for the church family? You know, there's no way I can get all this done. We'll help out. What do you want us to do? Start plucking. I'm sorry, honey. I had that woman bring 20 of them. But she, she sort of lied to me. Little old blonde headed husband. How are you going to cook all these chickens? There's no way I can get all these chickens in heaven and cook them. I'm going to have to have something else to help cook them. It's later tonight when they're going oh, to have today? Yeah. I thought it was going to be two or three days, but it's later tonight. Later tonight. If Bertha and Cowboy are actually going to get these chickens done in time for the fundraiser, we're going to have to come up with some way to help them cook them. We're going to have to build you some sort of a roaster, like a thing to, like maybe a big rack, and we can come up with a way to kind of let the rack move, and it'll be like a rotisserie. I don't know what a rotisserie is, but it sounds important. The boys scour through a heap of cowboys' junk to find any parts they can use for their rotisserie. Cut one of those fence posts in half. I'm gonna use another one like that. The boys' plan is to build a giant rotisserie made from a bed frame, some fencing, and old bike parts. They'll mount the contraption on two stands made from fence posts and add a motor to get the rotisserie spinning. Now, the thing about using an electric motor is most of them spin really fast. So we're going to have to use reduction gears to go from a high speed to a very low speed. So if the motor is spinning quickly, the rotisserie itself is actually just turning at an even slow pace. If we can really figure this out, we're going to be able to rotate that bed spring so that it's like a rotisserie, and it gets all sides of the chickens cooked evenly all the way through the middle, and this will be a real cool thing. The boys cut and weld fence posts and rebar together to create two frames for the sides of the rotisserie. The last thing that Spencer and I need is for our rotisserie to spin fast. So we're going to use the gears off of a bicycle to step down the speed to make it turn slower. We're going to take this gear right here and weld it onto this. That'll give us our second drop. In order to get the slow rotation speed the boys need for the rotisserie, they'll use a bunch of bike parts and create a reduction gear system. This will take the fast RPMs of a motor and reduce it down to a manageable velocity. Yeah, see if the motor doesn't work, we can just crank it by hand.